Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video here on Let's Talk Sports in the National Football League. The NFL playoffs is officially here. And what better way to kick off the wild card week than to predict what goes on in the wild card games? So it's predicting uh, the NFL playoffs. Pretty much. I'm your man, Josh Wright. Welcome back to another video here on Let's Talk Sports. And uh, yeah. I pretty much just said what we're going to do today, and that is predict the NFL wildcard games. And uh, I'll admit, some of the games we have for this weekend look really good on paper. Like I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think this may be the best batch of uh, playoff games we've gotten in the wildcard bracket in quite some time. Like There are a lot of good games in here. Um... And another thing too, before I begin, this is just my opinion. So if you think it, so if I think a team is going to win that you think is going to lose, or if you think there's a team that you think is going to win that I think is going to lose, it's totally fine. And also keep in mind, this is just the wild card round. And then we'll get to once the divisional round starts, that's when we'll predict the rest of the playoffs. Um, last year, I don't think I did a playoff predictions video however i have done a couple in the past if you guys want to check those out um with that said out of the way i won't waste any of your guys's time let's head into the very first game which is going to be in houston texas where we'll have the houston texans hosting the cleveland browns heading into the game for the browns uh they finished the year 11 and 6 uh, going into the season, I should say, the Browns were going to be an interesting team. Um, they were a really solid team on paper uh, with Deshaun Watson as their quarterback. We weren't really too sure what kind of Deshaun Watson we were going to get. Obviously, uh, in the second half of his, during uh, he played most of the second half for the Browns uh, in the previous season, and he did not look very well look very good uh he's been and he was even off and on throughout this season as well so would, i'm not gonna i'm not talking about deshaun washington as a person obviously i'm just talking about him as a player uh obviously he ended up going down with the shoulder injury which kind of blows for the browns and then but not as much as when the browns lost nick chubb during the regular season and once again that kind of blew uh, the Browns this year, they had five different starting quarterbacks. And uh, for the last few games, they ended up settling on Joe Flacco, who has been phenomenal for the Browns in the last four or five games of the season. Yeah, you, you, pretty much when your season's on the line, who do you need to call? 38-year-old Joe Flacco. That's who you need to call. <laughs> and, yeah, he's been really good in the last few games for Cleveland. And, uh, yeah, the Browns, again, they looked like a good team it, on paper. Um, it's, it's To be completely honest, it's kind of hard to predict the AFC North all around. And I'll get into that when we get into uh, the Steelers and Bills game here in a second. Um, but, yeah, all around, this was just a very uh, tough division to predict. Um, and pretty much all four teams ended up with um, with winning records, and three of them, of course, ended up making the playoffs, which is awesome. Uh, the defense for the Browns has also been really good this year. Um, you know, I, I don't know how uh, the Texans are going to be able to put up with that. Speaking of the Texans, we've got rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud. So a veteran versus a rookie uh, in this game. C.J. Stroud in his last game against the Colts in Week 18 had a 76.9 passing rating, which is pretty solid. Uh, he's had a pretty good year for the Texans this year also, even though he struggled a little bit with injuries. But luckily, he came back, He's and he's been a really solid quarterback this year for, for the Texans. Nico Collins has been their best offensive weapon. Uh, but the thing is, is what's uh, the how much is the Texans' offense going to do against Cleveland? Uh, this is going to be a really good game. This is, I feel like, a very close game. Two underdogs 
heading into this game also. You know, the Texans haven't made the playoffs in a while. Obviously, Jacksonville was favorites to win the AFC South, but spoiler, uh, the Texans took it instead. Um, and then, of course, you have the Browns again, another underdog team. You know, again, this is a very tough decision to make, but I feel like uh, I, I'm going to go with the Browns to uh, win this game. I feel like Joe Flacco is going to go in there and get the job done. I feel like the defense may be a little bit too much for Houston. I mean, yeah, Houston's got home field advantage. And C.J. Stroud, of course, a rookie, you know, is going to be playing at a comfortable home environment. But, again, I'm not too sure what that, what the offense, how much uh, Houston can score off of Cleveland's defense, which is, again, really good this year. Um, but overall, again, I'm, I'm going to go with the Browns to beat the Texans, and they will move on to the next round. Moving on to the second AFC wildcard game, you've got the Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Miami Dolphins at Arrowhead. And the Dolphins this year, oh my goodness, they literally had the AFC East division in their hands the entire, the entire, or a majority of the season. And then what happened? The Bills came back, the Bills got hot, and uh, they ended up stealing it from the Dolphins this year. Um... And, yeah, you know, the Dolphins, you know, this year, they were a very interesting team. Um, you know, you have Tua, who was pretty solid this year. Um, you know, the Dolphins, again, had finish, finishing the year 11-6. and six. Surprisingly, um, they didn't, I don't know if they, besides the Cowboys, I don't think they they beat a team that was above 500, uh, including their game against the Chiefs, which was, of course, one of the Germany games. Uh, but looking at this game, uh, obviously you have Munster and Jalen Waddle up both, both struggling with injuries this year. Like I said before, uh, the the Dolphins choked the division away. Technically, I guess you can say they're co-division champions with the Bills since they both finished with the same record. Um, but they're going to give it to Buffalo anyway. I haven't had it yet. Anyway, sorry about, sorry about it. Um, so anyway, you have Tyreek Hill, who's been carrying the Miami offense this year. Um, doesn't matter if they're doing bad, if they're doing good. Tyreek Hill, he's been that guy, and he's coming into Arrowhead, trying to get revenge against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Imagine what the Chiefs would have been able to do this year if Tyreek Hill was still there. Imagine if what they would have done last year if Tyreek Hill was still there. Then again, they won the Super Bowl last year, so what do we know? Uh, Mahomes, of course, is the two big offensive weapons from this year. Of course, good old reliable Travis Kelsey. And then Rasheed Rice has been very solid this year for Kansas City as well. Um, even though in the locker room... Uh, it's been kind of a, a, an issue with Mahomes uh, not really liking his receivers very well um, when it comes to you know big you know big moments uh, when it matters most. But I don't know. I feel like the Chiefs are going to get the job done. They're at Arrowhead, so which is very tough to play at. The Dolphins, instead of playing a nice home game where it, in Miami, which is going to be probably around 70 degrees. Uh, they have to go, go into Arrowhead and the cold, snowy game. It may be a snow game, which Tua does not do well in the cold. Just saying. And they also got to play the Mighty Chiefs. And I don't know. I'm going with Kansas City to win this game. Again, it's at home. It's at Arrowhead. Tough place to play. Tua doesn't do very well in the cold. I don't know. The Dolphins. I've not really looked that great in the last couple of games. I don't know. Uh, you know. Then again, I could be wrong. The Dolphins can, you know, could po possibly blow the Chiefs out of the water. But I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't really see it happening. I think it'll be a close game. But at the end of the day, I think Kansas City's going to walk out with the win. Then moving on to the final AFC Wildcard game, you have Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers 
marching into Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Steelers, man, oh man, ever since um, 2004, the, the Steelers have not had a losing season since 2003, and they have not had a losing season, obviously, ever since Mike Tomlin's been there. Uh, so the winning streak still continues. Mike Tomlin has not had a losing record. I don't know how he how that's happened. But just imagine some of the Steelers teams in the last few years like that. A lot of the Steelers teams that don't really look that great on paper. Imagine if somebody else was running that ball club, and you know it would probably be different results. But with Mike Tomlin, it doesn't matter. Somehow, some way, he finds a way to get a 500 record with the team that he's given. And this year, it was no different. You know, uh, he started off the year with Kenny Pickett. He struggled. The offense was struggling, so they fired Matt Canada. And the offense continued to struggle. Kenny Pickett continued to struggle. He got benched, I believe, and then Mason Rudolph came in, took over. Mason Rudolph, I've been saying this ever since he got drafted. He's been a really solid... um, quarterback for the Steelers they I don't really think they've really used him much but now it looks like they're going to be using him uh the last few games and it looks like he's going to be starting for them here against Buffalo um Najee Harris George Pickens those are the big the big two offensive weapons for Pittsburgh this year uh the defense has been interesting yeah, the Steelers defense has always been you know uh it has been solid I'll, I'll say that they, it's been solid. Um, looking at Buffalo, uh, they've been red hot uh, ever since uh, halfway through the season. Ever since they fired their offensive coordinator, they've been re- Ken Dorsley. They've been red hot. I mean, and I mean it too. Um, you know, Josh Allen. Yeah, he'll turn over the ball every once in a while. He'll still. still Throw 300 yards, and he'll find ways to win new games. Uh, the defense this year has been kind of struggling this year for the Bills, not going to lie. Struggles against the run, so that may be a big concern going into this game for Buffalo. And the two big offensive players for them, I guess, has been James Cook. Shout out to James Cook. He's been on my uh, fantasy team this year, and he's been really good. And then, uh, of course, Stephon Diggs being him. This will be an interesting game. I feel like I'm going to go with the Bills to win this game. I feel like it is set up for them. This game is lined up, set up perfectly for the Bills to try and win a game. It's at home, and it's in the cold. I, I don't know how how cold it's going to be compared to uh, the Chiefs-Dolphins game, but this will be a, a good game. Uh, the I feel like uh, I'm going to pick um, Buffalo to win this game against the Steelers. Again, I feel like it'll be close. I feel like it'll be a good game. But at the end of the day, I'm taking Buffalo to take down Pittsburgh. Moving on to the NFC. We have an oldie but a goodie. Seems like we see these two teams play off and on almost every postseason. And that is the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys... Man, oh man, they have been a really great team this year. Dot Prescott, phenomenal season. C.D. Lamb, phenomenal season. This offense has just been absolutely phenomenal. The defense, absolutely phenomenal. Well, for this team, it all, it's been an all-around great team for the Cowboys. Green Bay, on the other hand, uh, they've got Jordan Love. Who's playing his first quarterback or ended playing his first playoff game? Don't come in, the door's locked. Anyway, um the first, first playoff game for Jordan Love. Aaron Jones coming off of a good year. You know, he's been one of their best uh running backs. Um uh, for Green Bay. The team of course is a super young team. I think it's actually the youngest team, youngest roster on paper. Uh, heading into the postseason, um, I feel like Dallas is going to run away with this with the win here. Uh, I just feel like that team, all the Cowboys, I think is just going to be too much for Green Bay to handle. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not saying Green Bay can will lose this game, 
But I, I don't know. I feel like Dallas would be just a bit too much for them. Moving on, we've got two more games left to go. We've got Jared Goff, or we got Matthew Stafford heading back to Detroit to play a Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions. Rams, Lions, Stafford versus Goff. This is pretty much a revenge game for both of these two teams. This game could not have been, the script writers could not have set this game up just perfectly. Two quarterbacks who were swapped for each other a few off seasons ago. Now they're playing against each other in a playoff game. Unbelievable. You know, this is going to be, an, an, again, another really good game. Really good offensive game. The Rams offense has been absolutely electric, of course, with Cooper Cup. Uh, I'm probably... Uh, hang on a second. I'm probably missing a few players. Let me see the Rams roster real quick. You have Puka Nakua. Uh, Cooper Cup, Kyrene Williams, Aaron Donald on the defense. You know, this is just an all-around great offensive team that the Rams have put up for themselves. Detroit, again, same thing. They've got a really good offense. Fun fact, four players on that roster has scored at least 10 touchdowns this year. Like, it's insane. Dan Campbell, probably everybody's favorite head coach beside Andy Reid. I, I I bet you he's got that locker room fired up for this game. I'm pretty sure the Rams coach is the same way. Uh, I think their coach is, what, Sean McVay? I should know that. Uh, <laughs> I should know that by now. But I don't know. I think this is going to be a good game, good offensive game, a close game, and I'm going to go with Detroit to win this game over L.A. Last game is the Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, two teams who have been struggling in the last couple months of the season. Uh, you have the Eagles who, again, they've been struggling the last couple months. They struggled a little bit in Week 18 versus the Giants. They had a few injuries. Jalen Hurts should be back. Nick Sirianni has been saying that he's hoping that A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith should return for this game, which is a which would be a great great news for the Eagles, um, as we've seen the Bucks defense really struggles against the pass. Um, as for Tampa Bay, you know they've won the NFC South. That division is just not that great. Um, you know Baker Mayfield, he had a solid season. Todd Bowles, um, say what you want about him. I, I don't know. Oh, um, if I think. People ask me if I think he's a good coach or not. I, I don't know. It's like he can be, but at the same time, it's like I, I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I feel like I, I honestly don't know what to uh, think about this game. Um, Philly should be glad that they're matched up against Tampa because I feel like if they played Dallas or Detroit or anybody else, I feel like that that's. I mean, I'm not saying those are not winnable games. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, a lot of they would not be favored to win those games. But I'm picking Philly to win here against Tampa on the road. Um, again, I th hopefully Hurts will be back. Hopefully they have their big offense, both Brown and Devontae Smith back. And like we've said before, um, th the defense in Tampa Bay really struggles against the pass. Um, we will see what goes down in Tampa. Um, and this one, but overall, again, I got Philly moving on to the next round and that is going to do for my NFL, oh, a wild card predictions. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Apologize if you guys heard any noise in the background. Um, but we got through it. I'm going to upload this as soon as possible. Again, let me know who you guys have. Of going, uh, winning these games, and if any of your teams has made the NFL playoffs, good luck, because some of you guys are especially going to need it. With that said, I'm Josh Wright, signing off.